Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video, we are going to learn about exponential form that is a raised to power m by n and radical form that is nth root of a raised to power m. Now we know that 4 square is equal to 16 which implies root of 16 is equal to 4. That is 4 raised to power 2 is 16 and inversely we can say the square root of 16 is 4. Now very important point to note over here is we can write root 16 is equal to 4 as 16 raised to power half is equal to 4. Here 16 is the base and half is the exponent. Let me explain with the help of example. 4 cube is equal to 64 and inversely we can say cube root of 64 is equal to 4 or 64 raised to power 1 by 3 is equal to 4. Let us take another example. 5 cube is equal to 125. Inversely we can say cube root of 125 is 5 or in other words we can say 125 raised to power 1 by 3 is equal to 5. Now in 64 raised to power 1 by 3 we can say 64 is the base and 1 by 3 is the exponent. Similarly, in 125 raised to power 1 by 3, 125 is the base and 1 by 3 is the exponent. So, in general, we can say a raised to power m by n is called an exponential form where a is the base and m by n is the exponent. Now, let's learn about radical form. When a quantity, say base 64, has its exponent in the form of a fraction or rational number say 1 by 3 like we had in 64 raised to power 1 by 3 its numerator 1 denotes the exponent or the power of the quantity while its denominator 3 denotes the radical or the root of the quantity. Now let me explain with the help of an example like 225 raised to power 3 by 2 where 3 is the power and 2 is the root. So we can write square root of 225 cube. Further, we can take one more example. We can say 216 raised to power 2 by 3 means 2 is the power and 3 is the root. So we can write cube root of 216 square. So now we can generalize it. We can say a raised to power m by n which was the exponential form means nth root of a raised to power m that is nth root of a raised to power m is the radical form. If a be any positive rational number and m be any integer while n be a natural number then a raised to power m by n is equal to nth root of a raised to power m. So here a raised to power m by n is an exponential form and nth root of a raised to power m is a radical form. So when we have this radical form nth root of a raised to power m we can say nth root of a raised to power m is the radical, a raised to power m is called the radicand, n is called the index of the radical which is a natural number it cannot be negative, m is called the exponent of the base a and root sign is called the radical sign. So in this video we have learned about two forms of exponents that is exponential form and radical form. Hope you have understood. Thank you everyone.